What type of question this is? Yeah. Wait, guys. What type of question? You know, not good thing. What type of question? Equal. Ah, equal, equal. Constant. Constant difference. Okay, there are many names. There are many names. Okay, some school call it constant difference. Some call it equal unit. Some call it before and after. Single, unchanged. Right, one never change. There's one value that never change. Okay, what's the value that never change here? Yeah, the goals. Okay, so let's take a look. Ah, uh, how to solve this? You see, once again, it's like a equivalent ratio. Okay, this is like an equivalent ratio type of question. Why? Now let's take a look. So six A, six B, total eighty seven children. Equal number of girls. Equal. Hmm. Yeah, six B. Right, second best class. Ah, uh. no. Okay. No, I right? got worst class put in front. Okay, the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 5 to 2. So we have a 6A ratio. Uh, boys is to girls. 5 is to 2. I changed that already. Okay. Next, uh, how about for 6B? 6B boys is to girls. Eh, the ratio of the number of girls. Wait, 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 the ratio of number of girls, okay, girls to boys, change, liquid paper, 6A, write that again, girls to boys, it's 5 is to 2, 6B, girls to boys, 2 is to 1, so the equal number of girls, what does this mean? What does this mean? What do I need to do? Make which one the same? Yeah, make the girls, the number of girls. Cannot make the girls the same. They make the number of girls, the ratio of the girls the same. Okay, so what's the common multiple between 5 and 2? 10. So I change to 10. The boys will become? What's the ratio of boys? 4. Now this one change to 10. Five. Total number of units? Total number of units? Twenty-nine. So total number of units equals to ten plus four plus ten plus five equals to twenty-nine U. Now twenty-nine units represents eighty-seven children, so one unit is three. So how many girls are there in? So for part A, how many girls? 30. 30, right? 10 times 3 equals to 30. Why 10? Because it's 10. Okay, it's a 10 over there. Okay, then for part B, how many more girls and boys are there in all? So total there are 20 units. 20 units of girls. Take away 9 units of boys. Yeah, 11 units. So we take 11 times 3 equals to 33. Okay, that's the answer. Easy or not? 11. One more, one more. 33. Part B is 33. Okay, who got this correct? 1. Ayo, what happened? See? It's correct. Is it 33? Oh, you never do. Oh, you put 27. Correct or not? Correct. Shana, correct or not? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the arrow is blocking. One more, one more, do one more. No, Come on, one more. Me. Okay, one more. Guess what type of question this is? Uh, I know it's a, a math question. Huh? What? A math question. Equivalent ratio again. Yeah. Equivalent ratio again. Okay? So you see, this school is very good. Right? They prepare the student for all the equivalent ratio since SA1. Yeah, so it's uh, since SA1. Okay, mid year, uh, they keep doing the equivalent ratio, equivalent ratio. So when PSLE come home, what well, equivalent ratio 4, sure can do. You see? That's the strategy. Okay, so you need to know how to do equivalent ratio. Okay, let's take a look. Last question, then we'll go for a break. Okay, so Janet made some paper flowers. Who makes paper flowers to sell nowadays? Janet, yes. So one quarter of them were roses and the rest were lilies after selling. Two third of the roses. So let's try to um okay, wait, uh, one quarter of them were roses and the rest were lilies. 
Okay, let's use circles. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is rows. One quarter, what? One out of four. One out of four roses. The rest were? Lily. Lily, so L, L, L. Okay, yeah, so it's R, L, L, L. So after selling two thirds of the roses and 190 lilies. Now, th this means that the R, I have to break it up into three smaller pieces. You have one sixth of the paper flowers left. Okay, so this is this becomes three. So here also becomes three. This is small. Oh, no. Okay, if I have to break this into three, right? So two out of three were sold. So 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 this is not so. Now each one break into three. This also break into three. This break into three. Break into three. Right? She had one out of six. Now, if I break each one of them into three, how many units do I have now? How many, how many lines do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve units, right? I break them into twelve units. Now, one sixth of the paper flowers are left. What is one out of six? One out of six is times wow. one out of six equals two. 2 units Okay, so here is 1 unit This one not so but Let's use another color Use red Okay, so this is not so So I'm supposed to have 2 units Left So here, let, let's give this one N as well Okay so which are the ones, which are the lily that sold S, 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 S. How many S are there? A lot. S's. Okay, we done more time. Huh? Two units not eight. sold. So how many S's eight, are eight, there? Eight. eight. Okay, so eight units. Okay, wait. Huh? Uh, she sold 190 Lilies, two thirds of the roses and 190 lilies. You have one sixth of the roses now left. So 190 lilies sold is equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. 8 units. Okay, oh, what is. Huh? How, how can it be 20? Wait, is there an error? How can it be? 190 divided by 8. Oh, I got a fraction. You know? Let, let's check, okay? 23.75. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, 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 twelve. Okay, so all together we have twelve units, right? Okay, so we take twenty three point seven five times twelve equals to two hundred and eighty five. Right? Two hundred and eighty five is correct. Okay. okay. Right. So let's take a break. Right. I will just leave it here so we can take a look. You know.